Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Zombie Lover and welcome to a new game for me and the channel at least called Sheltered. It is a post apocalyptic survival game where you are in a shelter, in a uh, bunker, shelter, underground with your family and your pet, which can be a horse in an underground bunker, which is interesting. Not sure how that works, but hey. A new game for me, but it has been out for a while. We're going to have a quick look at it, and we're going to see how well I do, and see how long I can get to, how long I can keep my family alive, should I say. Now, I have been told a little bit about it, but otherwise I haven't really seen any gameplay of it, so I have no real clue what I'm doing. The whole idea is to go out and explore, and sort of gather resources, and then bring them back to the shelter to build new things and upgrade new things in your bunker. I have no idea other than that what else is in the game. So let's go in and let's see what we can find. So if you do like the video, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, remember to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so we've tried, I played a little bit just to make sure it recorded. But that's it, so that's what that save is about. This save here is what we're going to do now. When we're going to take a look at everything. I think we're going to leave everything as this as normal. So there's no changes to the settings. So let's go to the next page where we get to customize our family, basically. Customize parents. Well, this is going to be me. So, zombie, and we are going to be male, and top color, let's go for yeah, red, it means there's less blood stains, and black bottoms, yeah that's fine, hair, and we'll go blonde, I'm not blonde in real life, but hey, uh, hand, head type, oh, oh, I do have a beard. Let's go for a beard. Body type. Oh, we get to... Hmm, interesting. Shirt and tie. Hoodie. Yeah, let's go for the hoodie. Legs, shorts, very short. Short shorts. Camo, ripped jeans. Hmm, okay, I'm going to go for red sneakers. Why not? And traits. Proactive, hands-on, optimistic, resourceful, hygienic, small eater, courageous... Deep sleeper. I'm gonna go with optimist or optimistic. Sorry, because I am somewhat of an optimistic person sometimes. And stat preset. Okay, I'm well educated. No, I play video games. Uh, athletic. That could be that. Troubled. Street smarts. Logical. It means my strength is terrible. I kind of. Uh, no, well-rounded. Violent. Ooh, strength eight. Good upbringing. No, well, let's go for athletic. Although my intelligence is really bad because of that, but never mind. That's fine. That means that Mary is not going to be Mary. It's going to be Mrs. Zombie. Because, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, blue top. Let's give her a purple top. And... Add some white clothes. Because, you know, they're the best colour to wear in the apocalypse. And what can we give her? Short shorts? I'll leave the ripped jeans on her. Why not? Means she's been through a lot. Small eater. Okay, trait. Small eater, courage. Deep sleeper, proactive, hands-on, optimistic, resourceful. I think resourceful would be a good one. And preset. I think street smart might be a good one. She could be violent. Uh, good upbringing, yeah. I think that would be a good one to go for. I've got no strength or dexterity, but that's fine. I'm going to allow that. I'm going to, oh, sorry, I'm going to bring all that. Okay. Little Zombie. Because, you know, I can't fit it all in. 
and oh, that must be yeah, it's female. Okay, we'll have we'll, we'll keep it even, one of each for the kids. You know, I'm not picky. What kind of kids I have in the apocalypse, and yeah, everything can stay the same. You can be a courageous kid. No, I'm thinking deep sleeper might be a good one. Okay, and smarty pants. Know it all. Rough and tumble. Well spoken. Brain box. Yeah, let's have a brainy kid. Why not? And the last one is Lil Zombie. It looks like he's wearing a onesie. Let's change those. There we go. Yeah, he's wearing the red top, just like his daddy. Ish. And small eater? No, courageous for him. And he can be... Rough and tumble? Hyper? I don't think that would be a good one. Bully? No, I think... Uh, rough and tumble was the best one, I think. So there we go. All done. Oh, we get pets. That's it. I think a dog would be good. And the family name is also Zombie. Pet name Mango. No. Dog. Because I'm the most original person when it comes to naming pets. Okay, so save family preset. Okay. Click next. Do you want to play the tutorial? Yes, because I had no idea what I was doing earlier when I... You know, make sure everything recorded. So let's do this. Okay, so we're in the bunker. And let's see what happens. Ah, so they, they open that way. I get ya. Okay. Look around the shelter by moving the cursor to the edge of the screen with the mouse or move the camera with the arrow keys. Okay, there's my pet dog. He's breathing rather heavily, apparently. <coughs> right, so highlight an object and press right mouse to interact with it. The shelter is powered by a petrol generator. Which is that. And then right click. Add fuel. There we go. So one of us is coming over. That is me filling it up. Like a man. And... I think it's turned on. Commands will be performed by the currently selected family members shown at the top left. Oh, I didn't get to see, either, but see the rest. Spread work across the family to avoid tiring. Highlight a family member and press left mouse to select them. And you can also use Q and E to cycle through your shelter members. Okay, so it changes up there. There we go. So she's selected. Regularly fix items to prevent them breaking. Remember highlighting an object and press right to interact with it. So its integrity is down to 20%. Fix. See, even women can fix. Well, it's getting a bit sexist now. They're all the same. I'm pretty sure if I selected a kid, they can all fix the generator if I really wanted them to. So maybe I should have just gone for an all no, because then if I'd have gone all male, all female, it's still been sexist. So got to be careful in this game. It seems to be a very sexist game. Okay, enough of that. Going into a very big big hole. I don't want to bury myself too badly it's even more important to look after the family remember highlight a family member and press left mouse to select them you can also use Q and E to cycle through all of your shelter members yeah I've done that there we go stats show the character in f is thirsty red bars require attention remember highlight an object and press right mouse okay so where do I get drink from ah Medium water butts. Drink. Cool. Can I take control of the dog? His status is fine, but apparently no. Your goal is to survive as long as possible. You can explore, expand, maintain the shelter, and keep the family healthy. 
to help achieve this. Explore and gather resources by using the radio transmitter to set up an expedition. Expand the shelter and build new items with the workbench. You might your next step might be to explore, to build, or check on your family. How you survive is up to you. Okay. So I'm not thirsty. Is anyone else thirsty? No. Got a few tireds on them people and the dog just went into the air vents. Careful of the aliens. Okay, so journal. Nothing. Nothing there? Oh, view. Okay. Day one, so it begins. We're alone but strong. This is the family. For our records and to whomever may find this in the future. Zombie, Mrs. Zombie, a little zombie and little zombie. And our pet dog dog. Okay, I didn't realise it was going to do that. But it's now Dog Dog. His name is Dog Dog. This dilapidated bunker should help us to get back on our feet. It looks as though a bomb went off in here, but we should be able to clean it up. Just having a warm and secure place to stay in... To, to stay is enough for now. Okay. So that's good. Right. So that's the radio. Uh, that's the clipboard. Let's take a look at the clipboards. Generator 98% oxygen filter, water filter, uh, door shelter, and door shelter. Okay. And. Right. I wonder if we gain any new stats or abilities. Can I fix the door? Let's fix it. Assigning jobs. You've just assigned a job. We signed your shelter member a job. Jobs appear next to the selected member's portrait and you can have a maximum of two jobs in the queue. Jobs include actions such as fixing, repairing, crafting, eating, drinking, showering and sleeping. You can cancel a job by pressing the C or clicking the X button on the job tab. Okay. So she's going to do that. A food bowl. Empty. Oh, that's not good. Well, that would be a job for Little Zombie, I think. Fill the dog bowl, please. Okay, small crates. Open storage. We have items collected and stored here. You, oh, items collected are stored here. It helps if I can read. Reading is a good key thing in life. You can create extra storage space by crafting more storage boxes. Okay. So we've got duct tape, a couple of gas masks, um, gas mask. I think we've got eight. But looks things. I don't think they're quality. I mean, they're, they're quantity. Um, tiny pantry, medical supplies. Don't really have much. Okay, so radio transmitter and hazmat suits. How do I build new stuff? Okay, expand the shelter and build new items with the workbench. How do I build new stuff? Have I just selected something? Oh, I have. Don't go outside. No, don't go. No, 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 no. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, I think the game's going to stop, stop me. Remember to put on your suits when you go. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. I've just killed my little boy. Get back in here, fool. <laughs> I accidentally clicked there. Uh, hopefully he's so tired. Okay, that's because I've just asked him to go into the radiation zone. Um, do we actually have... We don't have any beds. Light dust storm on the surface. Okay, and water filter. Needs repairing. And... Camper van, check vehicle. It has no wheels. Okay, so how do I stress out? Oh no, one one of your shelter members seems a little stressed. This occurs when their basic needs, such as hunger or thirst, are not satisfied. So who is stressed? Well, I think. Oh, you're getting tired. That might be why. 
you know, just keep hammering on the door, it's all good. Whilst I try and figure out how to build... Speed up, yeah, I don't want to speed up time, I want to build. Am I just being stupid? Is there a build button? No, don't go outside, who? That's a good job, it's on you. Okay, build, no, V, tab. Ah, there's the workbench, right. Okay, one thing I've been said to do is to upgrade the workbench straight away and that means I can do a, a lot more stuff and I don't have to rebuild everything. Okay, so you can increase your shelter's efficiency by upgrading the oxygen filter, generator and water filter. The shelter's doors can also be upgraded to help against shelter breaches. Okay, so level 4... Is that level two? Okay, so level, that's all we need. You're doing that. And tool efficiency 0%. Hopefully we get a bed after we've done that. Is that door done? Good. Right, how do I... Well, she's very tired, but there's no bed as far as I can tell. Which is fine. Let's click on here and see if... Yeah, just eat some food. That'll help out a little bit. I suppose... And you're getting tired as well, and... You're getting thirsty, okay. That's fine, drink some water. And can you upgrade this? Disable, fix, upgrade, add fuel. Mm, it's really not best to do. Uh, it looks like we have the pass to upgrade the... Upgrade system, okay. You need to sleep though, so I don't really want to be doing anything. Oh dear, look at that. The oxygen filter. Are we done? Awesome, thank you. Right, now craft item. Building and upgrading. Building new systems and upgrading is important as they will help you turn your shelter or run your shelter more efficiently. You can find items out in the wasteland and then use them to upgrade or create new items here. You can also expand your shelter by crafting new rooms in the workbench. Okay, so we want a shelter room, no. A bed. That's what we need. And yeah, stick it just there. Oh, it's a little kid making it. Awesome. And oh no, wait. Let's select you. Craft item. Can I craft? That's oh, a tiny pantry. Makeshift shower. Bucket toilets. Mmm, lovely. Medium water butts. Poor stove, small pantry, a bookshelf. Medium books provide stress relief for grown ups, okay. Tiny box, makeshift toilets. I don't know if I can move this stuff afterwards, but let's go place that just there. Okay, we got an award or achievement, handyman. Which is good. Right. You. Sleep. Heading into the wasteland. In order to survive, you'll need to upgrade your shelter systems by gathering parts and resources. The best way to do this is to set up an expedition and go out and hunt for them. Okay. Well, she needs to sleep first. Then you. And then we'll go do some exploring. Oh, it's raining. That's good, we're getting, hopefully, 
more water. Yes, we are getting free water. The contamination, 0%, which is good. I'd imagine when that breaks, that'll change. And let's see what else we can build. Um, hang on. You go up there. 10 XP, nice. When nature calls, looks like someone needs a toilet. If family members don't relieve themselves when required, they may end up having accidents in the shelter. Poor hygiene, poor shelter hygiene may lead to unwanted visitors such as rats. So it's important that, okay, yeah. So who needs a toilet? You need the toilet, okay. Uh, use toilets. Uh, you don't need a toilet just yet. You don't, but you do need some sleep. And you're not as tired. But we do need a second bed, if I'm honest. And to be fair... Who's going downstairs? No one. I know it's because I've slept them after sleeping. Wait. Uh, everyone's getting tired, which is not good. And this is maybe taken uh, rearrange shelter. Ah, so I can move stuff. Good. So, I don't want to do that. I want to craft an item. I want to craft a port bulletproof vest, moderate snare trap, punch bag. Okay, well, let's. I think a yes, a poor stove could be helpful. I don't really have space for it. Okay, craft item. Let's do a bunker expansion. Yes, let's do that. Oh disappeared into nowhere right and I think yeah you've slept enough so let's cancel you you are getting thirsty so let's drink some water I'm thinking you need to sleep and what is up and your oh your health you're starving okay well fill the bowl up please There we go. He was down to 93 health. That's not good. I like how this is appearing by holding the wall. Yeah, we haven't left the shelter in a few days. Well, that's because we're trying to, you know, gather sleep. And you need a toilet, so you're going to have to wake up in a minute. The dog is not happy. But hey... You're very tired. You need a toilet. Go use it. Okay, the next bit is to really go outside. Problem is, my guys are too tired to do so, so I need another bed. I'm wondering, we should be able to put another bed in this room once it's completed. Okay, what's that smell? I think somebody needs a shower. Okay. Now what am I doing? No. There we go. Yeah. I don't like that thing. I keep pressing to get rid of it and it, did, and it doesn't actually get rid of it. Anyway, okay, you've got 10 experience. You're actually doing really well in intelligence, apparently. You need some sleep now. And we need a shower as well. So let's craft a makeshift shower. Let's 
put that in there. And then you rearrange the shelter. Let's put the... Ah, there we go. Shower down there. And let's put the workbench... there. And then it needs to come out of that. Ah, what? It didn't move it. Hang on. Rearrange shelter. Oh, it's space to confirm. Okay. Let's put you over a bit. And... Space to confirm, right. So, who needs a shower? I need a shower. Take a shower. We need another bed, so craft item. Can I make another bed? I can't. What am I needing? Nails. Okay, so we've only got one bed. Okay, someone's getting thirsty. You need the toilets. Use toilets. You need a shower. You can't um, jump in with your partner, unfortunately. And you need some sleep. So, sleep. It, it Just getting all this sorted is hard enough. I think... I think things are going to go wrong. Okay, so I've got everyone relatively okay everyone's happy everyone's eaten recently um, you need to drink a little bit so that's fine and uh, everyone's relatively okay so we're gonna go for an expedition so assemble your party going on expeditions allows your shelter members to search the wasteland for items and resources re and recruit other wasteland survivors to your shelter you can have as many concurrent expeditions as you like, but the party size is maximum is two maximum. Okay, so I'm guessing it'll be me, who's a little bit hungry and dirty and tired and thirsty, or let's see. How do I... Our oh, next person. Select your... Party members. Well, how do I do that? Okay. Select your part. Why is it not letting me select anyone? Yes. Is it because they were busy? No. Okay. I'm not sure how I select people then. Or is it that I need to have that person initially? Right. So let's select you. Because I think you're actually better. No. That makes no difference. Okay. Well... Let's sort out his hung my hunger first by eating some foods. And you need to get a hazmat suit because you need to go up there and fix some of these. Water filter is down to 25%, which is not good. So go up there and fix. She doing slowly. And I'm not sending one of my kids out there, that'd just be stupid. Ooh, a trash bin. Right, I have noticed some piles of trash, but as far as I can tell. Oh, is there some, can we build a garbage bin?
small water butts, toilet buckets, grave, snare trap, mop and buckets. Okay, we'll store that down here. There we go, and you are now ready to go out, I hope. Yes, you're a little bit tired, but never mind. Let's go to the map. You can plot exactly where your party will travel to by adding waypoints on the map. Expeditions cost water. The longer the expedition, the more water is required. Okay. Church, small farm, school. Let's go over there. School. Choose your items. Preparation is the key to, to a successful expedition. You may want to take items to trades and equip other items such as weapons for times where the physical welfare is under threat. Remember to equip gas masks to each party member, otherwise they may become quite ill out in the wastelands. Okay. So, take to party. Oh, can I? I don't want the whole stack. Uh, equip. There we go. Uh, Anti-radiation tablets? No. Bandages? I don't want all of them. Two. Uh, plastic, bucket, bulb, circuit board, spring. Valve, hinge, nylon. Okay. Wood. Uh, pipe. Yeah, let's equip that. And what else have we got? Uh, empty petrol can, rubber, soap, take fire. I have no idea how much we're going to need. And that's about all we can take, really. So let's confirm. Yes. He's heading off. And I think that's going to do it for this video. So I have no idea how long he's going to take. Uh, or what's going to happen out there. But we shall see what happens when he gets back in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, oh, the air filter is broken. Um, yeah, take suits. Uh oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Uh, okay. Incoming radio transmission. Someone is trying to get in touch through the radio transmitter. An icon is showing above the transmitter whenever this happens. It's important to answer transmissions so you can communicate with family members who are on the on expeditions. Explore and gather resources by using... Okay. So I think that might be empty. Yes. Losing health. So is that what we need? Add fuel not to go outside. Uh, accept transmission. Okay, searching locations. Is the... Okay, looks like we're doing th this now because it's given us the, it now. So that's fine. Searching location, the best way to acquire new and new items and resources. These will differ in variety and amounts depending on the type of location you search. You may also encounter other wasteland survivors in locations, so always be prepared. I found a school out in the wasteland. Should I check it out? Search location. Okay, maybe not. Uh, O2 is down to zero percent. I think that is because the generator is out of fuel. Potentially, three percent. Is it going to go up a bit more? Well, there's three percent. Well, I think yeah, it's gone up to six percent. You need to go out there, and you need to fill that up, and then someone needs to clean the shelter. It's going to be you, unfortunately, because you're the only one left inside. But anyway, yes. I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos and see how long until all my family dies, 
Remember to hit the subscribe button. But until next time, have fun and enjoy the rest of your day.